let's say you um, are interested in, in, in just pulling out all the information that you see right here on this screen, you can just make sure it's highlighted. So you have to keep in mind that this is this is a this is basically an XY grid, and uh, there are thousands of sen sensing points here that uh, on this entire grid. Um, so if, if you are interested in just pulling out each frame and what's happening on that frame, so if we were to take this into this mode here, and you wanted to get this data, um, we can put this. You can export this data here, this whole grid into an Excel and you would have just this information here for that frame, and then the next frame would have this information, the next frame would have this information. So to do that, we can just go right into our Save ASCII, our file, and then go to Save ASCII. And here it's going to ask you if you want um, just the current frame that we're looking at. So in this case, it would be just frame three, uh, frame three. Um, or if you wanted to do the whole movie, which is the from frame one to 602, or if you want to do, do your own custom range. But let's, just for the purpose of the demo here, let's take a look at what uh, a whole movie would look like. So we're going to say OK for that. And we're just going to go and save this somewhere where we will find it. And let's go see what this looks like here. And here you go. So. You're going to get all of this, this, these uh, headers up here that'll just give you, uh, tell you exactly what your calibrations were and your noise threshold and so forth. Some information about the movie. But then what you're going to see here is your, for your frame one, you're going to get a lot of zeros because again, this, that was an XY grid of thousands of sensors. So there's a sensor here, sensor here, sensor here. They just weren't loaded. So that's why we're getting zeros. Okay. And if we slide over to where we did have some load, you'll see your, your values for where that heel contact phase was first hitting, hitting there. And that's on frame. We'll give you your frame number over here. Frame three. Frame four. Now, a lot of people might not want to use the, the, this, this format for uh, exporting the data, but I wanted to make sure you knew it was there. Um, for those who are going to develop macros and wanted to pull out uh, information from the same sensing point or the same area of the of the uh, sensor uh, multiple times, so that's that's the the one way you can do it with uh, with uh, this and from this view here that will give you that information. Now, if you wanted to look at pulling the force time information, the first thing you need to do is set your graph your 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 um, your uh, strike boxes. And then you need to go and graph your strikes so that you have all your foot strikes. And then from there, you can then click on your window here, do another right click. You're going to go into your objects and now you're going to have all of your foot strikes. Okay, the foot strike box. So those are all your left. Those are all your right. And you can then choose which ones you want in your analysis. You just want these ones, or if you wanted all of them, you, you would just go and highlight them all. And then you would go to Save ASCII, and we're gonna save this again on our uh, desktop. And this time you'll see it's called 4TO01 underscore G, which is typically what you'll get for the graph. So if we save that, it's gonna ask you now what you wanna save. And here are your options. You can save force, contact area, contact pressure, peak force, or peak contact pressure. We're going to do force in this in this case, and we'll do it for over time. And here you go. You've got your headers again to explain uh, what your your settings were. But now what you'll see here, instead of all those zeros and what have you, is you're going to have your frame number, frame one, two, three, four. You're going to have your time. And this will be your absolute computer time. Um, and then you're going to get uh, uh, essentially a raw sum. Uh, it's essentially how many cells I think uh, were activated at that point. And the, here is where you're actually going to get your force uh, value. So that's that's going to be your force for your green curve during the entire movie. Uh, and this is going to be your force for your red. Now, if you remember in the movie, it's the right foot that was hitting first. And this is why we're getting values for the right side. And we're not getting any values for the left because it, it hadn't hit the mat yet. And then if you, as we go down, you see the right foot coming off and this is the left one going down, coming off. 
and so forth, okay? So that gives you your total force under each of those boxes uh, over time uh, for the, both the left and the right foot during all the passes of the 602 frames. So now let's move on to uh, the gate tables. How do we export data from the gate tables? Um, to do that, uh, we can just highlight the table we want and we can go to our Save ASCII. And here it's going to show you the options. If you want to just select the gate table, then you can unselect those and save it. Or you could select them all and choose to save all of them as CSV files. You'll also notice that there's a box here that you can choose to either save as uh, a single output file for each one, or if you and if you want to do it as, as a single output file for each one, you would want to click that. If you want to just have all the data in the same file, you could leave that unclicked. We can hit save, and we're going to go put this somewhere where we can find it. And then this one will save as 4T01Gate. Uh, we'll save that. And now it's going to also ask for the step stride. We want to save that one as well. And it's their gate cycle table. So it's asking essentially if, for each one of them where we want to save each one of these tables. When you have those tables, for instance, we can open up the first one here, which is uh, say the symmetry, symmetry table. So we'll have our symmetry table and you'll have your step percentage, step length, and all of this into a CSV file. We can also look at our gate table. And again, you'll have your CSV. So this is the number of strikes, your cadence, and so forth. So all of the information that we had in these tables can be exported into an ASCII format uh, that you can then use uh, for uh, additional analysis.